Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag, TR Tony here out in the garage uh, in a very dark, cold, wet uh, March evening. That's what uh, restoration is all about, isn't it? Um, and certainly it's not product placement behind me. Uh, that baked bean tin just happened to be there and the uh, uh, Ari the Stag badge of honour is just stuck on the window. If uh, anybody wants one, please go onto our website, arithestag.com forward slash badge hyphen of hyphen honour and you can get one free of charge. We'll send it to you. Um, yes, anyway, so we're out here uh, this evening. Um, Ari's actually just gone in now, um, but I'll just walk you through what we've been doing tonight for UNY 49M. Uh, the suspension parts have been here for quite some time and coincidentally I've had word that the Treston's seat uh, frames have all been done at Treston's in Southampton so I'm planning to go over tomorrow to go and pick those up but in the same journey I thought I'd also take some of our suspension parts across and hopefully get those done and do a bit of a swap round and uh, film that as well so hopefully we'll see what they've done Andy and the guys there at Treston's tomorrow but uh, let me just talk you through what Harry's done tonight um, it's been quite a lot of uh, industry going on that kind of a mess in the garage um, and it's all rear suspension pieces let me just show you and uh, I've been circuit training tonight, so I've just come back um, fairly late, about seven, quarter past seven. And um, Harry's been, as I say, working on the uh, rear suspension. Uh, you can see the evidence here. These were the uh, shoes that have been grabbed out the back of the uh, of the hubs, which he's uh, taken off. Um, we're probably going to get new, well, we're obviously going to get new uh, shoes. We wouldn't necessarily use these ones, but kind of tells you a little bit about um, the life that it's had before. Uh, as we know, the car was stood for, I don't know, anywhere between eight and ten years uh, forlorn and lost and um, the material here doesn't look too bad yes it's worn but uh, it doesn't look too bad the drums themselves I'll show you in a minute don't look too bad either so it looks like it's had a proper service at some point um, I've thrown away the girling um, piston uh, in a bin which again I might dig out and just show you in a second um, but uh, yeah so everything came apart pretty easily and um, let me just show you some other bits and pieces too Okay, well we've looked at the um, the brake shoes now and as we said they're not looking too bad. Uh, look fairly recent actually by the um, evidence here. I uh, don't think they're that old. Um, I mentioned just a moment ago the pistons that came off the back plate. Now clearly these push out when you press the brake pedal. The, um, the juice comes through here and pushes these pistons out which in turn push apart the, uh, the uh, shoes such that it then interferes with the brake drum and therefore slows you down. And just looking at these, obviously we're replacing these, they're only 10 or 15 quid anyway, it's not worth messing about with. But I think you can see there, they're fairly fairly new metal on there, so um, I don't think they were uh, replaced that long before the car became redundant, um, before it came off the road. But um, as ever, safety first, we won't um, risk it, we'll just get some new ones and these will become scrap. Um, looking at the drums themselves, uh, I've got one here, which I've... Uh, Harry took off earlier on. Again inside the drums themselves doesn't look too bad. There's no huge great ridges. Uh, might just need a bit of a polish and a wire brush and just a bit of memory paper just to smooth it all out but actually they look pretty good. Um, don't appear to be ovaled um, as can happen occasionally when they hit a flat spot and they're very hot and they lock up. Um, that's just a visual check. I obviously would need some kind of um, measurement device to actually properly test that. Um, and the outer side, yes, although it's rusted, again, you can see it's not that old. It's still got some black paint here. So I'm gonna take this to Treston's alongside the other one. I'll show you the pile of stuff in a minute. Um, so to, to get that um, either uh, shot blasted or whatever, but um, and then repainted just for make it look nice. Um, this was the back plate on which the brake drum was all mounted. Obviously you get your um, your piston is, is mounted on here somewhere, forgive me, something like that. So that, that's where your piston goes on there um, and that's the, I think there's a rubber um, grommet in there for the handbrake lever and various other gizmos that come out the back. Um, and as, this one obviously looks fairly original on the car. Um, looks like it's pretty tired however it is solid and we can get that shot blasted and uh, probably powder coated I would imagine by Trestons and uh, make it look as good as new so definitely worth saving that it's an original part feels like nice good solid metal and uh, we'll definitely try and uh, rescue that and resuscitate it if at all possible all good stuff 
And whilst I'm talking, um, many of you will know that this is, in fact, the uh, this looks like the handbrake ratchet. So that's the bit that goes through the back plate I was just talking about earlier on, and then ratchets up your uh, uh, handbrake is uh, pulls on that and then locks up the brakes when you're in park. Uh, quite a clever but basic piece of uh, engineering, but it obviously works and um, works well. So that's all good. Here then is the uh, half shaft out to the hub on the back of the uh, the car. Uh, obviously this end goes on to the differentials, power the differential. You've got a CV joint there, which again, I don't know if that's uh, good condition or not. Um, I'll need to double check that to make it too, not too sloppy. Uh, these are notorious to wear, uh, that you can buy a new complete kit. Um, costs about £1,000, I think, a pair, so it's quite a lot of money. These, again, don't look too old. They look like they've been fairly well looked after. Yes, there's some bits of rust and whatever, and the, the gaiters need looking at, obviously. Um, but actually, it doesn't look too tired or old. Um, and the hub looks fairly new as well. So again, I'll just see if I can get these tarted up. Uh, I suspect we'll have to be careful with these because there'll be bearings in there and all sorts of things that you wouldn't want um, any harm to come to by uh, bead blasting or anything like that. But uh, I'll ask Trestons again to see if there's anything they can do just to tidy those up, make them look as good as new, put some new gaiters on, obviously we will in due course, and just smart them up and use them back in the car. Uh, fingers crossed that they're okay. And these were what we were after, uh, was getting the uh, the rear training arm uh, arms out. Uh, they come in pairs, they're, they're quite um, specific, so you shouldn't mix these up. Apparently they are paired up, uh, and there is an identifier somewhere, we can't see it because it's a bit, bit covered in muck at the minute, um, that identifies which one is which, and uh, I think there's a date of manufacture or something that identifies that they are a pair, and we'll check that off obviously once we get them all cleaned up. Um, had troubles getting the bushes out. These things are pigs. This should actually be free moving, but it isn't at all. It's absolutely jammed solid. Again, I'm hoping Trestons have got a press, that, a proper industrial one that they can have a go at. We, we've got our own kit, but uh, it's not man enough, I'm afraid, to tackle that however many donkeys years old uh, locked up bush that is. Um, underneath, again, you can see this is a quite nice finish. So we want to get this these all um, uh, shot blasted and powder coated. They're actually quite light. They're made of aluminium, so they must be worth fortunes by modern day commodity commodity prices. That's where your um, half shaft goes through, your drive shaft goes through there. And uh, obviously got various um, things here for brakes and hoses and handbrakes and stuff. And uh, there's also a number of bungs strategically placed across it. But um, I'm sure these are gonna come up really nice once they're done. The plan will be to keep them silver, the back plate and the um, uh, drums themselves will be kept black and so the definition should be really cool once we get them all back and uh, hopefully they'll look brand spanky new. Exciting isn't it? <laughs> We're getting somewhere at last. Now here are the uh, front struts as you can see in their glory. We've had no time really to do much with these. We did have plans maybe tonight to try and split off these front training arms. These go through the body at the front of the car. Um, you can see the discs are here. Uh, yeah, again, I don't think it's too too old. Uh, feels quite smooth, even though it doesn't sound it. The back plate's all rusty. Um, in short, there's very little we're going to keep of these struts. Harry's bought a whacking great box of parts, um, and um, so we're going to rebuild these, strip them down, rebuild them. Um, probably these uh, training arms, uh, pardon, these um, link arms we're going to get uh, shot blasted, powder coated, whatever, but I think uh, we'll just do one bit at a time. Let's focus on the rear suspension for now, and we can always come back to these at a future date. So just slowly but surely working through the car. And uh, as I say, let's uh, let's see what we can do with the rear suspension parts uh, for now and uh, get those done. There we have the uh, two training arms all derobed. Uh, we will, as I say, need to rely on trestles, hopefully, to get those bushes out because they are such, uh, well, it's just so well uh, bolted into the uh, swinging arms, we can't get them out, so I'm hoping they'll be able to do that, as I said. If I come up to the top of the fridge freezer here, don't tell the missus. Um, here we have then the uh, backs of the 
the back plates and the drums, uh, rear drums done. Um, they're all ready to go tomorrow. Um, I've also managed to get hold of the um, differential. It's like a, a bracket that the differential actually bolts to, and this is then underslung at the back of the car. Your differential actually bolts to this plate, which you can see probably better this side, actually. So the back of the uh, diff locks onto there, and the whole thing then goes up into the car uh, to be held uh, to the bottom of the car underneath by some uh, studs that come through and bolted up. So clearly that needs a bit of a tidy up. Um, so we're going to get that all shot blasted and tidied. And uh, slowly but surely, our UNY49M is coming together. Um, and then finally, we've got some rocker covers, which uh, do need a bit of help. Uh, we acquired these fairly recently. Uh, it's a little bit oily, so I won't get too much into it. Um, they were chromed in a previous life at some point, um, but as you can see here, they're quite pitted and quite corroded. So again, we're just going to get those finished off probably not um, chromed uh, again but there was an option of a chrome uh, powder coat which I thought was kind of quite good so we'll have to have a look at that uh, and see what they advise. One caution which I'm sure many of you will know about in the back of one of the rocker covers you can see here is a metal panel just here uh, and that is actually tack welded to the rocker cover itself. Now in there you have a wire mesh, a bit like a Brillo pad I suppose, that is designed to catch um, nasties coming out of the engine and through the uh, breather pipe that you can see there. It's there for a purpose, it's there to filter. Um, big caution, and I've mentioned it a load of times before, if you're having, having your car shot blasted or uh, whatever work done on it, then you must make sure that that is actually uh, removed. Take your gauze out, do your work, and then re position it afterwards, tack it all back in, because if you get grit and stuff in there, guess what happens after you've rebuilt your engine, um, you fire it up for the first time, and all the grit comes flying out of there and all around your engine and uh, breaks it, and clearly that's not a good thing to do. So uh, yeah, we have a job lot to go to Preston's. Uh, I'd be very interested to see what they've got to say, as I said, um, but I'm quite excited. It's um, well, quite... Uh, Quite invigorating actually to know that all this is going to come back uh, maybe in a couple of weeks time looking brand spanky uh, brand spanky new so uh, there we are a good night's work uh, testimony to harry he's been out here whilst i've been running around the gym so good good news for him well done uh, he deserves all the plaudits that he gets uh, even though we couldn't quite beat these training arms and those infernal bushes that are absolutely locked in there but uh, onwards and upwards away we go Okay folks, so hopefully that's um, a bit of an update as to what's going on in the Ari the Stag garage this evening. Um, an added bonus for you guys, I suppose, to get to see lots of suspension parts uh, coming to bits. And uh, tomorrow we go off to Treston's to go see if we can uh, get them all shot blasted and cleaned up in the most efficient way that doesn't damage any bearings or anything like that. So uh, quite excited and I'll make a separate film. I've decided about that now. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed uh, seeing some of the work that's been going on tonight. It's all, you know, one step at a time getting there with UNY 49M and we will prevail in the end. Good. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Really appreciate you joining us. Hope you're having a great week wherever you are. Uh, looking forward to the weekend with more uh, stag conundrums to be doing then and uh, shenanigans as well. Uh, watch out for our email. We have a Saturday Sockets email. Uh, you can access that by going on the Badge of Honour page and uh, leaving your details and uh, get added to the list if you want. And we've got a separate little email going out on a Saturday. So there's a bit of fun and a bit of other shenanigans that we're getting up to. Uh, but uh, otherwise, please feel free to share and uh, like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon. All the best guys, have a great week, cheers for now.